Charles Awino, who is the Director of Corporate Communication Services at the National Police Service, joins me now to talk to us more about that. Thank you very much for making the time for us on Newsnight tonight. So what more can you tell us about that operation um, that Hassan Mugambi has just been talking about, a progress update? You know, how are the Somali National Police uh, uh, progressing with the training that we're giving them? It's okay. One of the most, uh, the greatest challenges that uh, the Somali government has faced is uh, there was a breakdown in law and order and uh, it is only the police that can is uh, entitled to ensure that there is law and order in every country mm -hmm. uh, basic social disorder for example somebody has stolen your goat or somebody has assaulted you uh, when there's a breakdown in law and order it means you resort to fighting that person or cutting that person or killing that person or stabbing him and uh, that is why it is important to have um, the police uh, for purposes of law and order so that when you are assaulted or uh, somebody has stolen from you or whatever it is social problems then you have a place to report to a neutral place which is the police station so when there's been uh, no systems in a country for example like somalia which did not have a stable government for a very long system uh, we say police became like raya mm -hmm. uh, they became uh, there was no police system so there is need to uh, train law enforcers, have the police service. So once we have a stable police service where people can report uh, their social problems, disagreements, and small issues, then it is easy even to manage uh, the bigger part of it. For example, today, our military is not involved in uh, undertaking social problems, mm. controlling traffic. Mm -hmm. They're not involved mm. uh, in uh, investigating theft, murder. Yeah. Uh, they have a special duty to protect our borders but the police has that responsibility yes, to ensure that law order there's in law and society. order inside the society. But so how does that then correlate with um, the war against terror I mean considering um, you know Somalia and, and, and what's happening there the porous borders so paint for us the picture so you have law and order in the streets of Mogadishu and in Somalia as a whole and this contributes to the war on terror how like just if, if you if you look at uh, our situation as a country, especially on the war on terror, uh, you find that uh, we have kind of an, a multi-agency uh, system where we work. You know, uh, before you would find police working on their own, immigration working on their own, um, uh, the border uh, law enforcement agencies, like if you go to the port, they work mm -hmm. on their own, mm -hmm. uh, the land borders, Namanga, Busia, they work on their own. And currently we work under uh, more of a multi-agency system mm -hmm. where you find the police, the immigration, customs, all of us working together. Because there is a lot of uh, interconnection between uh, our border management mm -hmm. and the control of maybe crimes like uh, international crimes like terrorism. Because the terror is a global yeah. crime yeah. and it involves people coming in to attack you, getting out and so on. And you know very well that um, for example, if I take you back, because I've, I've seen a lot of, uh, uh, you've, you, have, you have managed to come up with a lot of uh, cases of terrorism, and most of the 1998 bombing in the country. Yeah. When it happened in 1998, yeah. uh, if you look at it keenly, it was not about Kenya. Uh -huh. It was about terrorists targeting America, okay. and some, to some extent, uh -huh. Israel, if you follow up the Kikambala attack and right. so on. Yes. Now, it reached a level now that we moved from them just targeting uh, Israel and America uh -huh. and now targeting the whole world, targeting everyone. Right. If you go today to Somalia, if they come to Kenya, they'll tell you they're targeting non-Muslims uh -huh. when they're attacking buses yeah. in, in, uh, in uh, uh, Mandera yes. or in Wajir. Mm -hmm. But when they go to Somalia, it's 100% population mm. Muslims. Mm -hmm. They cannot lie that they're attacking non-Muslims, they're mm -hmm. attacking Muslims. Mm -hmm. So it's a total global yeah. problem. Now so what happens is, uh -huh. when there is law and order, yeah. If we fight and ensure that there's law and order in Somalia, there's law and order in the villages, there's law and order along the borders, there's law and order in towns, then it minimizes the opportunity uh -huh. of uh, uh, opportunity for terror attacks, even in Somalia. Okay. It limits opportunity for people coming from mm -hmm. ISIS mm -hmm. and coming to train mm -hmm. in, in Mogadishu. Okay. Yes. okay, understood. So you've been in the police service for more than 20 years. You know, today, 20 years ago, uh, it was unprecedented for everybody. Yes. How would you say the police service has evolved 
in terms of being ready, being prepared for an attack, um, intelligence, and also, um, you know, just our response as, okay. as, as a police service. Yeah. I've, 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 I've been in police for 26 years now. And uh, in 1998, I had been in service for six years, and uh, I was a criminal investigator. Mm -hmm. I was a CID officer based mm -hmm. in Mombasa. Uh, a lot has changed. First of all, I've just told you that mm. the intention of terror around 19, that time in yeah. when, when they attacked the, yeah. The, yeah. the US embassy here, mm -hmm. and then the following year when they attacked the Kikambala attack, mm -hmm. the target was America and Israel. Mm -hmm. Today, that is not just the target. The mm -hmm. target is it's a, glob a global problem. Mm -hmm. And therefore, a lot has changed. You cannot assume that they just want to attack yeah. a particular area. Yeah. And uh, what has happened is that um, the, first th the major thing that we have done, uh, we have come up with legislations from that particular period of time. Uh -huh. We came up with the Prevention of Terrorism Act 2011. We came up with the Prevention of Organized Crimes Act in 2010. We came up with the uh, Proceeds of Crime and Money Laundering uh, Act. And these laws have helped uh, yes. the police service? Yes, and you remember the Controversial Security Amendment Act 2014. Yeah. These laws are very important for us yeah. in managing uh -huh. uh, terror, ensuring that we can be able to arrest you, uh, come up with appropriate charges, charge you, and have you convicted. We have a number of uh, terror suspects who have been convicted. So legislation has been a major area that has helped us over a period of time. Okay. You remember just the other day the president the last launched, one, I'm uh, sorry. Yes. The president launched uh, the national strategy on um, counter-violent extremism, uh -huh. which is going, which was going to, it's more of a soft war, engaging uh, the civil society and uh, the faith-based organizations to ensure that we involve the communities. Okay. And then the multi-agency. Uh, With everybody working Where together. everybody working together. Okay. And then we've also increased surveillance. You remember like in the yeah. Boni, yeah. we have KWS, mm -hmm. we have forest services. Mm -hmm. Uh, we have a number of institutions helping us to manage uh, that particular area. And lately, I think you've seen us training uh, uh, camels that yeah. we are going to use to patrol yes. the, the border yes, lines yes, because you, you've seen our officers dying out of IEDs. Yeah, yeah. April. So okay. when we have camels, you will not use IEDs. Right. When we so have there's, motorbikes, there's quite a bit that's a, happening. A lot, a lot has happened. Also winning the hearts and minds, which is I okay. think uh, is, is important. Right. Thank you very much. Charles Owino, Director, Corporate and Communication Services at the National Police Service. An important conversation to have and to see where we are uh, with our response, uh, particularly our police service. Asante Sana.